Soda, you don't expect it to be a health food, but did you know some soft drinks can contain a chemical that's a potential carcinogen? It's called 4-MEI and you've probably never heard of it. What's 4-MEI? It's a chemical created in manufacturing certain types of caramel coloring used in many foods and sodas. A two-year government study showed it caused cancer in mice. How can you tell if your soda has it? It's not easy. There are actually four types of caramel coloring, and two can contain 4-MEI, but you can't tell which type you're drinking. All the label says is that it has caramel color or artificial color. How much 4-MEI is actually in soda? Consumer Reports recently conducted tests of several popular sodas and other drinks, including Pepsi, Coke, and Malto Goya, bought in California and around New York. We tested soda because Americans drink so much of it. Nearly half of us average two and a half glasses a day. Of the 110 cans we tested, all the ones with caramel coloring contained varying amounts of 4-MEI. But how much is okay? There are no federal limits on 4-MEI, though California requires foods sold there to carry a cancer warning label if the product exposes the consumer to more than 29 micrograms per day. So how did the beverages Consumer Reports tested stack up? While our sample size is not big enough to recommend one brand over another, all the cans of Pepsi one we tested were above 29 micrograms, and 15 of the 16 bottles of Malta Goya had more than 10 times that level. None purchased in California carried a cancer warning label. With some of the other soft drinks tested, if you have more than one can a day, you'd be over 29 micrograms. What about Coke? Actually, all of the Coke we tested had very low amounts of 4-MEI, and drinking one can per day would pose close to a negligible cancer risk. Given the scope of our tests, we don't know if all Coke across the country is similarly low, but our results show that it's possible to get a brown beverage without a lot of 4-MEI. You can find out more about our tests and our findings at consumerreports.org. We are urging the federal government to set a limit on 4-MEI and to require manufacturers to list the specific type of caramel coloring they're using on the label. While Consumer Reports cannot say that any of the products it tested violates California law, we believe that some of the levels we found are too high and we have asked the California Attorney General to investigate.